A super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blabby Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulation that I Undead Legacy Mods. So the last episode, we faced the Horde and it went really, really well. We do need to adjust this and um, get a little bit closer because when the zombies are there, we can actually melee them from this side. And then we need to sell all of this stuff. And yeah, we need a shotgun part to be able to upgrade this one. And we need to actually see if we can upgrade this one as well. But it said that the workbench is a little bit under level. So our goal right now is one, we need more Molotovs because we used everything to bring a Horde Knight. And two, I need to actually also adjust this base a little bit because during Horde Knight, a few zombies actually came here and tried to hit. The thing is, when they fall down here and they feel it's hopeless, they start going for the walls. So if I can make like a gap or something, I can just really see through and uh, kill them, that might actually help us. Our goal for now is going to be, guys, we just need to do as many quests as possible. Um, we do need TVs and stuff as well now that we have this assembly bench. Uh, let me just see this quickly. But yeah, now that we have the disassemble bench, we need to actually go and... Oh, yes. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to buy this. Let's sell these. Um, I need to go and dismantle as much stuff as possible, and the only way we're going to really be able to do that is if we go and just grab a ton of stuff from PRIs. So the more we go and loot right now, the better it's going to be for us. Shotgun shells, not that many left. Um, oh, also guys, I reduced my mouse's mo uh, mobility a bit, the sensitivity. Because I've noticed sometimes it looks like lag in the game, but it's just my mouse being so sensitive it looks like it's lagging. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you have any Molotovs at all? Please. Like, please, please, please. Oh, this is an F level. This is... Yeah, this is basically better. Except for attack speed, stamina cost, all that stuff. The knife is way, way better as well. Okay, so we need to loot as much as possible because we need these clay bricks. Um, I'm actually like thinking of buying tools and stuff as well. Especially a green... Uh, E-quality iron pick is going to really, really help. Obviously, we can upgrade our, our own one as far as possible, but you can only upgrade it so far before you actually can't anymore. So what I think I should do is before day 17, we should try and get this one. Um, was there something? I think there was something else over here that I wanted to buy, but I can't remember what it was. Let me just see if I can't. Oh, it's not sellable. I, I repaired it. Why did I repair it? I didn't even realize we can't sell it. Damn it. Okay, so that was a waste. Um, if you got in the secret stash, what do you have? This bow is 13,000. It would be cool, but it's just way too expensive. So yeah, for now, guys, we just have to focus on getting this pick. And I, other than that, I'm not interested in anything over here. We can just make our own stuff. I uh, need to go mining still, grab more of this stuff. Car wheel. I still don't know if I want to go for the car or the truck. I know the military. Someone said the military vehicle is 10 kh uh, uh, carrying capacity, but someone else said it's 1.8. So I'm so confused. But I think it's going to be better just to go for the black van. Um, it doesn't look as great, but at least it has a ton of space. It's verified 2k or 2 uh, ton carry capacity. And at the moment, we are stuck at 200. So if we had a vehicle with that much carry capacity, that'd be awesome. Now for the shotgun, what else do we need? Glue. If I could buy some glue. Nope, we're going to have to make our own. Okay, antibiotics you might need to get. Mm, I don't know if I should. That's six, no, we don't have enough cash anyways. That's six hundred. That's a lot. That's enough chit chat for me today. Okay, mineral water over here. That's mineral water. Mineral water. That costs me one hundred. There's no other candies and stuff, right? Okay, let's just first go into the base and see if we need anything or lack anything. And then I need to make sure we get a gas station as well. We need to fill this up and get more monotops. As with wandering hordes, the monotops work so so well. But unfortunately, we used all of the Molotovs during Horde Night, or rather the last one we used after Horde Night, when that Wandering Horde joined the Horde Night. Also, for those of you that didn't see the episode, we fixed the uh, the block issue over here. Remember, it was red, you couldn't place, even in God Mode. But as soon as I moved all the storages and placed uh, new ones over there, these blocks are now all of a sudden usable again, so that's awesome. I just want to make sure we weren't crafting anything on this side. These we can actually scrap. What am I going to get for these? <laughs> I can't believe I wasted my cash on those. Okay, so this goes over here. We need glue as well. I think that's going to be one more. That's nine, right? Nope, finished. Okay, so if I want to upgrade my shotgun. We need plates and we need glue. At the moment, I don't think we have plate. No, wait, 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 wait. We have ingots and stuff left. We have iron plates and we also have a ton of ingots, if I'm not mistaken. And where are you guys? 
Zinc ingot? No, we don't have any ingots left. What? Okay, so I'm gonna have to go mining for some more iron then. Unless I just placed it in the wrong box. Because I've sworn we had like a hundred or so left. This we can actually dis uh, dismantle or uh, range uh, with a range to get more plates. But for now, guys, we're gonna pick up everything. The PCs and stuff I need to make sure we go and put in this workstation over here. It's a very nice way to get everything apart. You can actually get uh, research notes and stuff back. And the sooner we get research notes, the sooner we can actually go and get more stamina and stuff. I mean, uh, more tool recipes and stuff like that. Okay, I just realized we need vitamins. This over here means fatigued, which means if you drink a vitamin, it should cure your fatigue. But I don't think we have any vitamins over here. That's bad. Yeah, I mean, I just realized, I didn't even realize I was there until I just looked. So we need to make sure that we get ourselves a green vitamin. I don't know if the trader perhaps has. And then I need to make sure we have a quest active, missions. Treasure maps, open. I wonder if I shouldn't open trade routes. It might be a while to run all the way there. But if we can actually find a cool new trader, and it's the one with the gas stations. I should probably, you know what, I'm going to carry two of those with me. Just in case that is the trader we come across. If we can fill up two gas cans for now, that's going to be awesome. But yeah, uh, we have so much that I want to do, guys. If we can get, before day 21, I want to make sure that this horde base is tweaked and ready for the next horde. Uh, but I also want to make sure that this whole base, technically on the bottom, is brick. Because that block is way more powerful. Okay, so we need to go. That's a drop. I think we need to go upstairs, so, uh, to the east, it said. Yeah, over there. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing is just cutting out the run. If a wolf or something attacks or something interesting happens, I'll catch you guys back. But I think other than that, we're going to just um, cut out the running because it's going to be super boring watching me run up and down. Although, I think every time just before I, I loot a vehicle, I need to catch you guys back. I just realized fatigue, my stamina is going to run out faster. And then this, um, if I use these, obviously it's fast. But the chance of this being great is actually also low. It's okay. But yeah, I think what I need to do is loot all the vehicles on the way. So if we come across a vehicle and I want to loot it, I have to catch you guys back just in case we get something really awesome from it. And then, yeah, other than that, we're just going to cut out as much as possible because otherwise this run, it's four kilometers, guys. And since I'm fatigued, I'm going to run out of stamina so much. I also need to make sure we grab some bird's nest or some eggs as well. I think I'm going to, for now, just skip the zombies. Ooh, there's a glue we needed. I'm going to skip the zombies for now because it's just going to be a waste of time going for them all. But definitely the thing I'm going to go for, bird's nest, if I see any cars, cars. Although, I should probably follow the road out, but I don't know if that's going to go straight or not. The thing is, if I go straight towards this marker, it might lead me to a different road. If I follow that road, it might take me somewhere completely different. But I also need to make sure that I mark some iron uh, nodes on the map, but closer to my base at the moment. Because I need to go mining. Although we have a mine, all I need to do is go and mine down there, and we should be good to go. If I can get myself like two stacks of iron or something, uh, just to help us out, that'll be awesome. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna cut away. Um, if a wolf or something attacks, I'm just gonna have to pause the game to unpause because my mic's in the way. And then I'll catch you guys back as soon as something interesting actually happens. Also, guys, before I forget, uh, okay, uh, firstly, we got this pipe baton from a bag on the floor. That was almost right after I said to you guys now. We got that, but yeah, um... Yes, yeah, so every guys, you guys know we have power outages and stuff. And for the past three to four weeks, actually, we're lucky with almost none at all, unless they were doing maintenance and stuff. Well, they announced that they're bringing it back in full swing. So today already, we had two power outages. Also, uh, update on the fiber. They finally, finally, finally decided to migrate online over to a different fiber company, the ISP. Because after th uh, almost four months, yeah, four weeks, a uh, full month, of telling them there's something wrong, there's something wrong, and them telling me to my face there's nothing wrong with the line, I'm imagining it. Finally, they actually decided to put me over, because the thing is, if I do a Google speed test, it shows my upload speed is unstable. But according to them, I have to use like a speedtest.net link, and that's the only one that's, uh, that's accurate, the other one I should ignore. But the Google speed test correlated to my problem, I had a problem with my internet, and every time that showed that the upload was bad, my line went unstable. Well, the one dude gave me a snarky reply on, uh, on my emails from the ISP saying, listen, I don't know what site you use, but no, no, no. Uh, the only ones we uh, register as legit is speedtest.net and sites.net. 
I was like, oh, psychs.net, bet. Let me show you something. The three speed test in psych.net and all three speed tests showed our upload speed was crap as hell. And the one that I did to the closest city to us, um, I told him that, that was like, that, that was actually a good score that we got. The others, there was one almost close to full speeds and then the rest, like I, it jumped by 100 megs up and down. That evening, I got a, a, an email all of a sudden saying, uh, we've been migrated to a new line. It will be effective from next month. So yeah, <laughs> it took us using one of their links to prove to them there's something wrong with the line for them to actually finally take some action. Unfortunately, it's going to be still a, f a full month. The whole of September is still going to be a crappy upload speed. But as soon as October starts, we will hopefully be continuing our streams. Now, the problem is going to be if they switch us over to the new fiber company and it still persists. Because then there's something in the area that's wrong. But yeah, I just decided I want to uh, get you guys an update because I haven't actually mentioned it in a while. But yeah, uh, they finally moved us over. So I'm going to be sticking to this ISD for now because the speeds from them were perfect. It's just from the fiber company itself, there was something wrong and we kept getting low speeds from the box to us. So hopefully if we sit, uh, if we go over to the competitors now, um, yeah, we'll have a stable speed and we'll be able to stream again. But now that I'm actually doing a series on this, uh, on this mod, I'm going to have to decide what I want to do a stream series on. Is it going to be Darkness Falls? Is it going to be Where's UK, World of Walkers, I mean, or uh, Excited to Stream, or Oblivion uh, mod, so something I haven't done before. But we'll see, because I do want to do a new series uh, where I replace uh, Apocalypse Now with something new. So I wanted to replace that and do another stream of something else. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated, but for now, just know we have sorted, kind of. And hopefully at the end of the month, we get a proper stable line. Okay, for some reason the pause and unpause buttons don't work that well. Uh, but yeah, I just saw a ton of vehicles on the road over here and I was like, yep, we definitely have to try and at least loot these. Guys, if I go for a van like this, it has to be the black one or a nice blue one or something. Um, I just feel like these pink and orange ones are ugly. <laughs> it's a shame. I want to see if we can't go for the military vehicle as well, but we might do that as like a second option. But now I'll do the van first so we have the storage and then work on a new truck one. A truck repair kit so we can actually have two vehicles and then that way we can choose what our per or what our needs are and then from there you go and choose what we want to do okay i have actually picked up quite a bit of stuff already if we can get to a safe spot quickly i can show you guys as well but we have to be close to a town for us to have this many cars over here okay so uh yeah we have the baton we have the helmets and stuff we can actually use vitamins oh i think we might have had vitamins now that i remember what the shape is i think we had vitamins I completely forgot that in this mod, it almost looks like the steroids. I looked at my box, I was like, oh, I don't see the green vitamins. There mustn't be any vitamins at all. So now at least we have our fatigue cured. Uh, or fatigued. <laughs> our fatigue cured. So we should actually see a uh, better stamina usage. I was running out of stamina. I've, I had to drink my second coffee as well just now. Just because of the fact that uh, we're running out of stamina way too fast. Come on, give me something awesome. I'm using time charges of here. We can always just buy more, but they are kind of expensive for crappy loot. If we get lucky, oh, what's that? Herbal antibiotics. Uh, if we get really, really lucky, we might actually be able to go and... Oh, now I'm actually losing track of what I want to say. Oh yeah, we can buy more time charges, but like I said, if, if we get crappy loot from using a time charge that's like 130 coin, that's a rather big waste. Also, how many eggs do I have? 15, not bad, not bad. We can actually make some more bacon and eggs when we get back to the base. Guys, I want a drone or a vehicle or something. But I wonder what's the weight limit on a drone. Like, how much can it actually carry? Because at the moment, uh, in vanilla, drones can carry about anything. But in this mod, since vehicles, for example, can only carry 400 weight. Uh, so, for example, say you have a minibike. You can have 200 storage and you can have a carry capacity of 200 on you. And then that vehicle doesn't even want to move properly. So I'm kind of worrying uh, worrying about that and see, uh, I want to see what you can actually put on a drone. Nice repair kit, that's going to help us a ton. But yeah, uh, that's nice when you actually get this many cars on the road, but you have to be careful of wolves and stuff. Especially, I haven't, I've been lucky so far, I should probably not say that. I've been super lucky so far and haven't really seen any wolves. But it just takes that one wolf to sneak up past you because I've so many times been on my motorcycle or minibike, I drive to a location, climb off, and then I jump off right next to a wolf and I didn't even see the wolf on the way there or while I was stopping. So I want to be as careful as possible right now. Guys, I'm going to be editing this episode in Adobe Premiere Pro where I usually use Windows Movie Maker. 
So from now on, I might be able to give you guys even better quality content. Um, you said Movie Maker is like from 2012. So, and there's no more updates or anything for it. So hopefully with Movie Maker Pro, uh, or with Adobe Pro, uh, I'll be able to go and make some better content. I might actually be able to stream. Say so for example, I don't want to cut out this run because there's so much awesome stuff you can find on the road, right? Instead of cutting in and out to every vehicle. Um, I can now go and speed up the footage until I get to like the next car or something, instead of just plainly cutting it out. Um, I, the reason I couldn't do the movie maker was because I had to have two different uh, audios. As soon as you uh, do the video faster, you can't do the audio faster. I had to throw that audio. It, it's just it's very hard to explain, but just know it, it couldn't work in movie maker. I'm also thinking of every now and then, uh, like while I'm playing, uh, give, give that reminder on screen of subscribing and clicking the bell icon or whatever. You know where it just pops up the subscribe button and a click. That's uh, not something too game breaking or immersion breaking. But guys, please remember to hit that like button. Ooh, I want this SUV. Please remember to hit that like button or sus and subscribe button. It really does help. I want to see if we can get like 100 uh, likes per video. I think if we do that, then we might actually be able to get this channel um, recommended to more people. And the more it gets recommended, the better we do and the more subscribers I get. I really want to try and before Alpha 21, um, get the access to the pre-alpha release keys for streams. So basically you have to have 5,000 subscribers and then you can get the key first before anyone else, like the stream streamer weekends before a release. And that's my goal right now, 5k. I think I'm like 600 subscribers away, which is awesome. I really, really appreciate your help so far, guys. But please remember, if you have if you have liked and if you're already subscribed and stuff, perhaps consider sharing with your friends. Like if you know someone that plays 7 SLI, you know groups and stuff, share the links there. Because it really, really does help. The more likes on a video and the more comments, just if it's a comment saying hi, <laughs> the more comments and the more likes on a video, the more it gets recommended to other people. So it really does help the algorithm a lot. Please tell me this is going to be a desert town, because I see the desert over there. If it is, we might actually be getting the other trader that I was hoping for. The one with all the gas. If we can fill up these jerry cans full of gas, guys, I'm actually considering moving to this town then. The only problem is we're going to need a vehicle to get all the way here, so we're going to have to have the van before we can even move. But yeah, this desert, if this is the one I'm thinking it is, it's awesome. I think Subquake actually made this trade. Hey, um, I don't know if someone bolted it for him. But someone said something about the fact that Subquake made that trade, and it looks awesome. It's a custom, like, a military bunk, trader bunker thing. So I'm really, really hoping it's, this is going to be the case. Ooh. I'm getting some really good items all of a sudden. I know that the vehicles in the desert actually give you way better loot as well. So now we're still at the moment in the forest biome. The moment we get into the desert, I need to start looting vehicles like crazy. Also, guys, remember, we're not on the latest alpha. We're on 20.5 uh, 20 for the series. So there is a chance that the vultures will still attack us in vehicles and stuff. I think alpha 20.6, they took that away. They can't do that anymore. It's so annoying. As soon as you climb on a vehicle or a mini bike or whatever, all of a sudden the vultures just dive bomb you. Okay, so I'm going to have to see if we can't find ourselves some steroids as well. I'm going to be so encumbered from carrying all these car parts and stuff. I'm getting heavier, look at that. 146 out of 199, yep. At least we will be able to sell some of the stuff to the trader, but not all. I have to sell as much as possible though, because we need to make sure we have the carry capacity to go, uh, get back. I, if this was, if I had the option, guys, and I had a vehicle already, I'd be wrenching every single vehicle we've been crossing so far. Because all of these have engines and stuff as well. It's just a shame you don't get gas from them. It would be cool if you have like a jerry can in your hand and you can actually get the last bit of gas. You can siphon gas from all of these broken down vehicles. Even if it's just a little bit. In this uh, mod, the gas is so damn expensive that every little bit helps so much. Okay, so far I've been getting duct tape and glue and stuff from all of these cars. And now that we're finally in this biome, let's hope for the best. This is a desert biome. Please tell me it's going to be that trader. It looked so cool when I saw it on other guy's stream. I was like, yeah, I need this trader. The amount of jerry cans we have right now is not going to be enough for the amount of gas in there. Ooh, oh, modified police baton. That is going to be so worth it. For those who don't know, that baton is really, really good. I might actually want to uh, remove the mace now. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's going to be that. Ah, uh, it's not that trader, damn it. I mean, this looks like a cool trader, but it's not the one. It's a military bunker thing. It's like a, a concrete 
paving a paving going down into the floor. Another police baton. Damn. See this biome. Even normal cars are gonna have way better loot as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I should probably see if I can't grab some steroids. But the uh, the guy. Oh. I just hear a dog. Oh crap! Yeah, I heard a doggy. Uh, I wanted to say something just now, but that just caught me so of God. Damn it. But yeah, uh, oh yeah. Um, in the beginning, uh, vitamins actually give you like times two carry capacity. But uh, as, soon, as soon as you start getting high, it only gives like an extra 100 or so. Or perhaps it just looked like double because it was 100 and you could carry 200. But yeah, we can actually carry 100 more, but I need to sell as much as possible so I can grab as much as possible as well. I'm just close this behind us. Probably kill her first. I don't want them banging on the walls. They shouldn't be able to break in, but it's still gonna be annoying hearing all that banging on the walls. Now I wonder that that bunker trader, the one with all the gas and stuff, is he just? Oh, hello. Is he just in the desert biome? Oh, that leads them nice. Or is he also in other biomes as well? Because if he's in other biomes as well, that's gonna be good for us. And I don't have to worry about. Oh no, it's just in this biome. So otherwise I have to find another biome like this, or another trader in this biome, and that makes it difficult. I can knock you down while you're bleeding, that's gonna help me. That's just a crawler, he shouldn't be here in time. I need to get back, it's getting late right now. It's just such a shame. Ooh, this is a working carpenter's table, nice. The one we had in the beginning really sucked. Unfortunately, since this is all... Claimed we can't uh, we can't take any of the resources over here. I really want to grab some of the resources, but unfortunately it's not going to work. But yeah, if we can get some steroids over here, I might be able to just carry some more stuff. We might be able to go in this biome and just see if we can't loot some cars. If we can just loot all the vehicles in the vicinity over here, that's really awesome. What else do you have? Please tell me something's awesome over here. It doesn't look like anything there. There's another floor over there. I should probably just make sure that we loot everything on the outside before we go inside. So this is his maintenance station. Okay, guys, remember this one uses cash to repair stuff. So, for example, this is going to cost me 474 coins. That's too expensive right now. I'd rather just sell the crappy stuff as I have it right now and see how much I can get for it. And then hopefully, and if this just wasn't claimed, all of the resources over here... But yeah, hopefully we can get lucky and just get some more stuff over here. Um, Where's that jerry can? We have like three of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we do this, make sure we grab this one. I need to find a rusty barrel that we can actually pick up, not one that's part of the trader. Our uh, reason for that being is we can use it as a storage device for our, at our base. Uh, you know what? This thing's silenced, right? So I should be able to... Come on. Ah, he saw me, damn it. I don't want them banging on the walls of you. I know it is um, claimed, so it shouldn't be a, a problem, but it is annoying hearing all the banging on the walls. Oh, my aiming sucks. There you go. Oh, he's not dead. There you go. If we can just pick up all the resources over here, we'd be rich. But unfortunately, as soon as you try and pick some of this up, it just says, nope, sorry, you can't. Hello. Oh, it's well, Jen. Take long. Hello, hello, hello. What do you have for me? Please tell me you have some steroids. Steroids with this. Heat resistance? Nah, no thank you. Come on, give me something good, give me something good. Okay, we don't need any of this right now. I actually need some coffee. Hmm, that's a shame. Sorry, but I've never heard of a stim pack. Stim pack? Well, that's actually kind of cool. You can see she's a trader that actually deals, uh, she's a, a medical officer. Okay, coffee or anything like that, please, yes. Because I need to be able to get back to the base and we're gonna need to, I need to replenish our stamina as much as possible. You never know what's gonna have some stuff, so look everywhere. We don't need water, that's just gonna make us heavier. That probably leads to her. Come uh, on, give me some schematics or something. I should probably also check over here in this town whether there's, oh, that's mineral water, yes. Um, I should probably check in this town whether there's any bookstores or something, because we really desperately need a bookstore right now. If we can find a bookstore and we can find some notes and stuff to read, that's going to help us tremendously. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, where's the other dude? He's probably upstairs somewhere, which means we have to go this way. Okay, there's multiple levels and stuff. It's so easy to get lost in a place this big. And it's just a shame that this one's above uh, floor one and not the bunker one I'm looking for. Hello, dude. I am kind of looking for you, but first things first, let's just make sure we loot everything over here. You never know if you get lucky and find like another bookcase or something like that. Where's your robot? Your battle station. I think every trader has a robot, right? It looks like a badass mecha suit or something. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, what do you sell? If you sell some Molotovs, I want to buy it. No. Okay, but you do have a pump shotgun. Ooh. 2002. Oh, damn, you reached day 17. I don't think we're going to be back in time to actually be able to afford that. Damn. Okay, that would, that would have actually really come in handy because that's better than this. Especially since it has so many more shots than this one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Nah. Ooh, crossbow. I actually said that I want to move over to a crossbow. But now, don't want to waste any cash going any further than that. So we're just going to focus on clearing this place out and then booking it. His suit has to be up here, right? Wait, was I wrong about the suit? I could have sworn every trader has a mecha suit. Like a big ass robot that's just standing over here somewhere. Oh, 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 nice. Yes, 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 yes. The more gas we can get right now, the better. Although, look at my carry capacity, guys. It's almost full. So we have to try and sell a few things to her before we leave. Otherwise, we might be too heavy to get back. Yep, and I am officially encumbered. Okay, so it seems they don't have a robot. Hmm. I actually feel sorry for the dude because he always has a robot with him. Okay, so we are done over here. If I could just sell a few things to her quickly, we'll be able to get enough carry capacity to run again. I can't afford to run when we're this encumbered and then not make it back to the base. It is a shame there's no more gas. That's why I think we should actually stay in town over here. If I can just get some steroids from her. I need to stay in, in town your, uh, so we can actually see if we can't um, find more gas, gas and then also ordered. find other stuff as well. But there's no steroids. Okay, so what can I sell? Let's sell this one. Probably move... Ooh, we do have steroids. Nice. Didn't even realize it. Do that, do that. I want to make sure these are not locked. I want to be able to sort them. Okay, cool. So we have those. Um, Sell that, sell that. That might have been a little bit better than mine. I need to also see if mine can be repaired. At the moment, I'm just more interested in the... Okay, that's a police baton. This is a... Yeah, this one's way better. Modified police baton. The 108, nice. Okay, I think that's it for now. Now, let's see. You don't have anything, right? I'll recheck you. We have steroids, so we don't have to worry about that. But if I can have some stamina stuff. I'm just afraid that we're going to run out of stamina while we're running out here. I and then we might have a little bit of a problem. Mind. We could get some teas and stuff, but I don't know if that's really going to help with stamina. Um, Let's see. Let's see. This does give you stamina regen 15%. Duration, four minutes. Yeah, let's just get it then. Okay, so we are going to go and do this. Do this. Sort that. And then I need to pop a steroid. But I'm going to pop the steroids first uh, as soon as I, we get encumbered again. If we do it now, we're going to waste a bit of time. Okay, why are there so many zombies over here? There's way too many zombies in the front over there for some reason. I need to also loot as many cars as possible. Since this biome has some really cool cars as well. There's quite a few zombies. Okay, so now, if we can just scout the town at least, we should be good to go. I need to make sure my gun is reloaded though, because if we come across another one of those coyotes or whatever, we want to be able to uh, pr protect ourselves. Also, the town can only have one trader, right? So there's no way we're going to get that military facility. Unless it's also not just a military facility, but also just like a... I mean, not a trader, but also a military facility. Yeah. At the moment, I know it's a trader, but I wonder if it's also not a trader and we can actually get that place for the gas. That would be awesome. Okay, what I need to do now is just run as much as possible. We need books. Probably skin the vultures as well. But yeah, we need books and we need gas and stuff from vehicles. Savage country, that's not going to have anything. Vehicles, please, 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 please. I just hope we can actually get back to the trader. Oh, nice. Hello, I saw your shadow. That's the only good thing about really playing with shadows at the moment. I could see that zombie behind me so easily. 
I should probably see from a vending machine if we're not able to get some more coffee or something like that. But yeah, guys, every single one of these cars right now is going to help us get some really good loot. So we need to check all of them out. Obviously, not every single one's going to be a winner and some of them is going to be locked. But as long as we can just do this and just get most of it, even if I run out of time charges, that's fine. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to probably quickly reload as well. She's behind me. She's behind me. Grab. Yeah. And there's a snake. There's a snake. And I'm super slow. No, 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 no. It's, like, it's going to start getting faster soon as well. Oh, it's a bookstore. Yeah, we need to clear that bookstore out. Crap. Crap. Come on. Stamina. I need to make sure we can kill these zombies so they don't interfere at night time. Because night time they get faster. So you don't want, uh, want them running after you while it is dark. They're going to be so fast. Okay, if I can just reload this, but I need to use this as like an uh, oh no weapon. Like a last ditch effort to survive. Come on, blue out. That's not fast enough. I like the fact that you can look inside the vehicles. That looks so cool. Especially the military uh, ambulances. Or oh, military. Um, I wanted to say the <laughs> medical. Um, but yeah, the ambulances inside also look so damn awesome. So guys, what we need to do next episode is this cracker book over here. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comment, tips, and feedback. Give it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Undead Legacy fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.